Now to a new ABC investigation which has found Boeing's 737 MAX aircraft has experienced six mid-air emergencies and dozens of groundings in the years since it was cleared to fly again after two catastrophic crashes. 60 other mid-air safety incidents have also been logged by flight crews in US government databases. Virgin Australia, which declined to comment on the new data, has ordered four of the same MAX 8 model that's crashed twice and 25 of a newer MAX 10 model, which is yet to take to the skies. Let's go to our reporter, Catherine Diss, who's been looking into this. Catherine, good morning. Firstly, just remind us what happened with the MAX planes. Good morning, Lisa. Well, you'll remember back in October of 2018, Lion Air Flight 610 plunged into the Java Sea just after takeoff from Denpasar Airport. Five months after that, Ethiopian Flight 302 met the same fate just after takeoff from Ethiopia's capital. Now, it wasn't until the second crash that the fleet were grounded worldwide when it was clear that there were common problems and similarities between these two crashes. The investigations, Lisa, found that uh, both of the planes experienced problems with the new software system called MCAS, which was designed to stop it from stalling mid-air. It uh, erroneously triggered after being sent data from a faulty sensor, which was uh, designed to keep the plane stable in the air. Um, but former employees we've spoken to of both Boeing and the US Federal Aviation Regulator, the Federal Aviation Administration, have said that there are many other problems and concerns that they hold with these planes that are linked to basic production problems and manufacturing defects that they witnessed at the factory in Renton, Seattle, where these planes are made. Let's get to that data soon, but first let's listen to Nadia Milleron. She lost her 24-year-old daughter, Samia, on the second crash. This is another moment to wave our hands wildly and say, hey, you shouldn't be allowed to ramp up production or even produce the plane at all if you don't know why the planes crashed. Right, Nadia Miller on there saying that the planes are still unsafe, but what's your investiga investigation uncovered? Lisa, look, we've trawled through hundreds of mid-air safety incidents which have been filed in US government databases. Of those, 60 have been identified by these former employees of both Boeing and the Federal Aviation Administration as being serious and having the potential to end in tragedy in the right circumstances. Six of them resulted in pilots declaring mid-air emergencies uh, Others involved engine shutdowns, pilots losing partial control of the planes. Many of the reports had pilots saying that they didn't know what was going wrong with the planes. The flight control system failed on 22 separate flights. More than 42 incidents involved equipment malfunctions and on more than 40 occasions, flight crews chose to ground the planes, that is, take them from circulation whilst the problems were fixed. And all of these are separate, Lisa, to another grounding which happened just five months after the FAA gave Boeing the green light to return them to the skies following a 20-month safety review, and that was relating to an electrical fault which was impacting critical flight functions. Now, this data was found and analysed by a former senior Boeing manager, Ed Pearson. He's also a former Navy captain and flight officer of 30 years. He believes that these problems are linked to basic production issues he witnessed at the factory in Renton, Seattle. He raised these with senior management before the first crash. His concerns went unheeded and, he, and also his urges to shut down the factory went unheeded by Boeing management. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. There are a lot of similarities between what we're seeing in some of the reports that are out there now with what happened during these two crashes. I was very concerned about, you know, those types of embedded hazards and defect. Every one of our factory health metrics was just hitting the worst record, you know, record lows. And it was across the board and it was trending in the wrong direction. What's Boeing and the U.S. government had to say? Lisa, uh, Boeing has defended the safety of the MAX aircraft. It said that none of the identified incidents indicate a trend, that none of the reviews found production 
at the factory contributed to the two fatal crashes. It did, however, say that it had implemented product, production quality control measures across its supply chain. The Federal Aviation Administration said that the plane's return to service after being grounded could uh, have or experience routine in-flight issues. Uh, but the ABC can today reveal that the US government is poised to launch another investigation into Boeing, this time into its production oversight of the 737 MAX planes. Catherine Dees, thanks for your work on this.